Yeah, hello guys. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use two functions, two very important functions the average if and the average ifs. So, we know generally that average is just the summation of our set of observations divided by the number of size, or you say the number of the sample size or the number of your observations. So, if I'm trying to find the average of these sales this is like um, the data is like a business um, is a customer data whereby you have the month you have the gender of the, the customer you have the items the gender purchased and you have the sales how much you generated from each item so looking at um, so let me talk about the average if the average if actually helps you to look for average when you have when you want to work with a condition just one condition for example you want to find the average of um, you want to find the average of, um, of uh, your male customers the, how much you realize how much profit you realize from them how much sales you realize from your male customers you want to know the average so that is just one condition so you are going to use average if so let me just show you now this question i have a question i have i said what is the average sales generated from necklace so this is just just one condition so you're going to use average if so let me just so you're going to use average then this is average if you're going to use average if then your range your range this is your range this is all you're working with this is where the necklace is items so you highlight it then your criteria what are we looking at what are we which item are we actually um trying to get average of four so and then so you're looking for average for the necklace and the last one is your average range which is your sales so i like it also so let me put it let me put this in dollars so that you can actually to be in currency so can you see okay sorry okay us dollars so we actually generated from necklace from the sales of necklace we generated 1019 dollars so let's look at this question two they say what is the average sales generated from male customers the average sales generated from male customers so you are you are you're also working with a condition here and you're going to use the average if so you have um, the average if you have the range you're looking at gender now so your range is the gender the comma the criteria is actually male customers then the average range is actually the sales okay So let me put this in dollars and US dollars. So from uh, from this um, data, from this data, you've actually generated from your male customers. Your male customers actually helped you generate $692. Now using the average if ifs function, when you're working with when you want to work with more than two conditions, two conditions upward. You want to work with two conditions three conditions you want to look at the average based on two conditions or three conditions or four conditions you actually use your average ifs so let me just write a question let me say average sales let's say in the month of okay 
and the month of March. What is the average? What is the average sales of? What is the average sales of? Um, let me see. Okay, what is the average sales of? Of of um of bracelet. What is the average sales of bracelet? So here you have two conditions. You're working with two conditions. You can see you're working with your month and you're working with the item. That is what you're working with. So this is how you work. You use your average ifs. This is average ifs. Then the average range, don't forget is the sales. This is your average range, you highlight it. Your comma. The crack the first criteria is the first criteria is the month. You align the month. You align the month, the comma. Then we are looking at the month of March. The comma. Then the high temps, which is your second, the criteria range two. We need the high temps, and you need the criteria, the, 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 the second criteria, which is what are we working with here? The bracelet. So you want to, you want to know the average of, um, in the month of March, you want to know the average of. The average sales of bracelet. So bracelet. Enter. So you can see, in the month of March, you made seven hundred dollars by selling bracelet. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video and you've learned something. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you.